look, there were very frustrating stages and of course you're disappointed, but we're a better team this week than we were last week. It was great to see Tilly make her debut and she didn't do too badly out there. And the young, getting the young ones more exposure every week is what we need. Look, I think we had some really good patches today and I think there were times we really showed what we were capable of, but then we'd have two or three minutes where we'd let it slip and Vixen's really piled the score on. So that's what we have to avoid. We have to become much more consistent over the 15 minutes. Um, Kim's had a wonderful career. She's been a wonderful leader and she's one of the best centre court players in the world. So very happy for to see you be able to celebrate that today. I just think we needed more penetration. We needed to get the ball down there a bit easier. The more we can penetrate there, the more we can bring Joe Harden into the game as well. I'm really happy with Christiana. I thought she really stepped up today from last week and that's what we need at this point in time. It gave us a little bit more movement. It gave Christy the opportunity to sit back and pick off some of the balls that came down. But I'm just really happy that she's had her debut now and I know she's only going to grow and get stronger from here. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a, a tough ask coming to Melbourne Arena to play the Vixens. Um, they really took it to us today and they showed what a clinical side they are. And I think, you know, we let ourselves down a little bit in um, some of the patches of the play, like we weren't as connected as we should have been and that's disappointing but um, we'll take the positives from it. I think that's all we can do, we can learn, move on and, and have a really hard week on the training track. I think the fact we can go goal for goal, a team like the Vixens who are clearly going to challenge for the Premiership this year is positive for like that, that first 10 minutes and then we just have a little blip. And I really do think it's about the connections like, you know, I've been playing with Seabass for two weeks now. Um, you know, you've, we've got different lineups in the centre court and you know, our defence centre building all the time. So. Yeah, give us more time. We're working really, really hard, but we know it's not good enough, but um, we're really trying to fix it. Yeah, like obviously Kimmy will put her body on the line and she'll play and do whatever you ask of her. That's the kind of champion and the leader she is. Unfortunately, we had a few injuries and had to stop a few like things around in that midcourt. But like I say, people are giving their all. We just need to be a bit more tactically minded and of how we're going to approach these games, especially the next couple. You know, we don't want to go into that slump of this is our standard now. We want to really like raise our standard and I think we can do that in the midcourt. We can win more back as attackers in that midcourt, but I think we need to start finishing it off. I feel fine. Um, you know, whatever it takes to get the ball, and I usually stumble. <laughs> if I get a hand to it, I usually stumble and fall over after that. So that's a work on for me. But um, you know, I put someone like Jamie Lee Price today. Yeah, really put her body on the line. Led from wing defence, which is a really hard position to lead from, and I was really impressed with her work rate. And um, you know, for a young player, still. Still experienced but young, she was um, really leading there today for us. Yeah, Matilda McDonald, absolute little buddy. Um, stoked that she got to get on the court today. She's been working extremely hard in training. I am so chuffed for her. You know, she's a great kid. She's got a really, really bright future. And to see her in that contest, winning ball, getting a hand in stuff, um, it was really impressive.